Hello everyone! In this uh, video I'd like to quickly show you how you can add additional skeleton mesh to your character. I so this will be useful if you want to make like um, additional armor or pants or something else on your character body to be attached to your main mesh. Like in the default example we have here is just an armor. So if when we pick up the armor, it attaches a skeleton mesh to the character body, as you can see here. Uh, so let's have have a look at how this is done. So uh, we need to open our character pl pawn player model, right? Which is located here, an example of the players. Um, and this um, here we can see that under the mesh component we have uh, an armor, which is a skeletal component, skeletal mesh component. And the uh, headwear, which is a static mesh component. So the headwear is a uh, uh, what we use to for our helmet here, and uh, this just a, this is just a static mesh which is attached to the uh, bone head, right? So it's just a uh, static mesh attached to the head, and uh, the armor is actually a skeletal mesh, and the reason for that is because the armor need to repeat all of the animations. Uh, and bending of the body that character has, and we do it through this function, which is set master pose component. And the armor here is uh, a target, and uh, the master bone component is the mesh, so the main mesh right here, so that the armor would um, repeat all of the animations. Which all of, the, all of the animations of the main mesh, right? So um, let's have a look at the uh, item itself. So item weapon armor here, and how it works. So when we pick up the item, the event to begin to pick up begin uh, here. Uh, we call this function set skeleton mesh and set the this skeleton mesh as K player armor. And put it in 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 place of this armor skilled on mesh we've seen in our uh, in, in our character plan pawn you know so it just replaces this mesh with this mesh basically right and it also uh, uh, multiplies health by one health one 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 and a half yeah and multiplies health maximum health and start health recovery here. With, with this function. Alright, so that's how it works. Now let's uh, create our own placeholder for uh, for our uh, for our skeleton mesh. If you want to add another, for example. So let's just copy this armor skeleton mesh and put it in the mesh, main mesh, and let's go with, I don't know, heavy armor, for example. And we need to set this uh, position to zero, right? Uh, and we need to add it here to the set master post component, so it would also repeat all of the animations the main mesh has. Let's compile, and now let's uh, create our own mm, item. We can just duplicate this armor item here. Let's go with uh, heavy armor. Open it up, and when we will pick this up, we will replace our new created uh, placeholder called heavy armor. Yeah, it's a skeleton mesh component. We'll replace this component with our own skeleton mesh. So let's get it and put it here. And now we will replace it with our own skeleton mesh. Now I prepared a skeleton mesh here. Uh, let's see here is my heavy armor, right? Uh, let's assign a skeleton to it because it's rigged to mannequin skeleton. We need to assign it. So now we can use this heavy armor mesh uh, in our new created item. Let's pick it up from this list and compile this item. 
Now when we uh, place this item on the... Oh yeah, we need also to set up the... Um, uh, the static mesh for, for visualization, right? So let's um, make this. I already prepared a static mesh here. Armor. And we just place it instead of this. Okay, let's compile. Now let's place our item on the map. Right, so, like so, yeah. And he tried out. Now, if we pick up this uh, standard, standard armor, it will attach to our body as usual. Right, and if we pick our newly created item as well. It will also attach us to our body. Okay. Now that's how it works. Now if we pick up this gas mask, for example, it what it does is basically replaces our static mesh of the helmet and spawn these two uh, static meshes on the ground as well. Okay. That's how it's let's have a look at the code here. So it basically does the same thing. It does uh, get set static mesh uh, for the headwear and replaces it with a gas mask and these are the code for spawning these two static meshes. Okay, okay I hope this was um, useful for some people and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next in the next one.